Hi, I'd like to show you how to manually um, create a mesh, um, which is sometimes useful. Um, so for starters, we're just going to clone an area here. We're going to convert that to block out by going to the Select Wax tool, selecting it, and then converting it to block out. And I'm going to go back to the clone tool again, and um, we're going to make basically the equivalent of three rings. Um, and now we're going to use the smudge tool to uh, poke some holes in it. Uh, make it a little bit bigger. So okay, so that's a pretty fast and easy process. Okay, this is the reason why I haven't yet implemented the tool to put these rings here because it only saves you a few seconds. It would be nice to have it, of course. Um, now, a drawback of using the smudge tool um, is that it actually creates a little bit of, uh, the, yeah, the edges are not as clean as we probably would, would like them. I mean, of course, you can do a very quick smooth on this um, and clean that up. But uh, the other alternative is, uh, is to actually use the uh, smooth tool to make the holes. Um, let's just go back and fill these in quick. And let's go back to the smooth tool now. And let's just set our smooth tool through the hole. Um, to go all the way through the wax, it's it's better to hide the black iron refractory. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's make one about that big. And it takes you know, a fraction of a second longer, but you can quickly make holes this way as well. And these holes are immediately smooth on both sides. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you.